So I'm back from Florida and I bought a hell of a lot of stuff. For ages I've wanted a pair of white Converse and over there they're $45 rather than £45 so they work out about 15 quid cheaper. So I got these from Nordstrom, just plain white low Converse. And I've also wanted a pair of navy blue Converse for ages so I got a pair of those got vans in blue already um, but they don't I feel like they don't really go with that much so I wanted a black pair that will go with more things so I got a black pair of vans and they were also $45 and there was this random shop that I found called Charming Charlie and I didn't really know what it was so went in just to have a look on the off chance and it looked like loads of accessories and jewellery and stuff like that but they had a sign in the window saying all flats $15 and there was a pair in the on the poster that I really liked, like a royal blue. Um, but they didn't have my size in those, but they had the same design in a green colour, so I decided to get those ones instead. They're just little pointed flats with these cute little wait, gold cheetah things on the front. I went to two sort of different shopping areas, an outlet mall and a normal mall. I did go to Saks Fifth Avenue and I got a MAC eyeshadow so it is this one and it is MAC woodwinked and I've wanted that for a while so even if it wasn't that much cheaper or cheaper at all I thought I'd get that. I was going to get a NARS duo eyeshadow from Sephora but I, I said oh, I'll think about it and I'll come back later and while we were walking around I went on my phone and was looking up the NARS website to see how much they were at home and um, they had a limited edition palette and I was thought oh maybe I should get that because it's only £7 more expensive at home and I get six eyeshadows instead of two I thought oh maybe if it's limited edition it'll be nicer to have something like that from Florida and um, I went into Sephora and they didn't have any of the limited edition palettes so we went into Nordstrom and they had the limited edition palette in there and there's only one left so I got that so it didn't work out any cheaper but I thought I just wanted to get some a NARS eyeshadow. So it is this NARS palette. It is the Fairy's Kiss palette and it's just got these shades. I don't know what they're called or anything like that but I just thought it was pretty. So I got that one. And at the outlet there was a shop called Bath and Body Works. And I've heard people talk about this before and I went in and they had they have all the like candles and smellies and body washes and all that jazz. I noticed they had a three for ten minis deal. So I said, oh, I'll get three little fragrances. I didn't really want to get body lotion or anything. So I said, I'll get three little fragrances and yeah, three for ten dollars, you can't really go wrong. So I got Pink Chiffon, Be Enchanted and Cashmere Glow. We went to Walgreens a couple of times and I was looking over the makeup and couldn't really find anything that I was like, oh, I really want to get that. So, and then I noticed they had a Wet n Wild thing and I've heard people use it on YouTube before, but I don't, I don't know if they sell it in England. So I decided to pick up one of their palettes because they were 3 49 and I was like, that's cheap, I'm getting one of those. So I got the Sweet as Candy one. So I don't know if I'll use that, but for 3 50 it doesn't really matter if I don't use that much. I bought some magazines while I was there. I was amazed because all their thick magazines, like Vogue and I don't know, Elle and all that sort of thing, are around the same price as their like trashy celebrity magazines. Like what we would have here would be Reveal or New or Now, that kind of thing, it was three ninety nine, the same as a thick magazine for three ninety nine, and I was just amazed. So I didn't get any of the trashy magazines because I thought I'm not paying three ninety nine for that. Um, but I did pick up Allure. I've got a subscription on my iPad, but I nowhere near me sells it in real life. I don't. I don't know if you can only get it in London or something. I don't really know. But I so I saw them and I thought, oh, I'll get myself a copy of that app because I really like that magazine in real, and I wanted to see it in like real life. So first of all, I got this one. So that is. The September issue and then I went in a, like the next week and they had the biggest issue ever October so I was like oh I'll get that, that one as well then. Whenever I go to America 
I've been like five, five times? No, maybe four times. I don't know. I've been a couple of times to America. And when I've been, I like, I like to get the number plates, but not the real number plates. I like the ones that just say, like the number plate shape, and then they've got like the name of where you've been on it. So up on my door over there, I've got Hawaii, Vegas, San Francisco, Beverly Hills, and New York. And I've been to Florida before, but I didn't, that year I went and I didn't get any of the number plates because I didn't really think, notice them that year. So I said, oh, I've got to get a Florida one when I go back. But I couldn't find any, like, just plain Florida ones. They didn't seem to be readily available like they seem to be in all the other states. Well, the ones that I've been to anyway. So I decided, because I went to Disneyland, I decided to get a Disneyland one. So I just got this one. It's plain just says Walt Disney World of 2013 because I like that it's got like the date on it and I wanted something with 2013 written on it to, that I went to Disneyland in 2013 because when I went to Disney California I got a jumper that says 2010 on it so I wanted something that said 2013 Disney when I go on holiday me and my mum like to find Hard Rock Cafe so we'll always look up if when we go away if they have a Hard Rock Cafe there um, and it's like our little tradition and I've been to the one in Florida before when I went like five years ago and um, that was when we started like our hard rock obsession and then um, every time I go I like to get a glass that says like hard rock and then the place and they're starting to they're starting to overtake the cupboards and my mum's not very happy about it because they're quite big glasses so I've brought two examples here of the size of glasses that they give you I've probably got about six glasses and then in, we've got them in like a display cabinet or just, we've got them in a display cabinet of like a martini glass and then like shot glasses and all that kind of thing. So I'm just overrun with glasses. And this is an example of how big they are. Like this is the size of the glass that they come in. I mean, it's just, I really like them. I mean, look how much juice you can get in this. I mean, this is a substantial size drink. Like I like a lot of squash at once. So. This one is Hard Rock Venice, and this one is Bubba Gump New York. So my mum said don't buy another glass, but it had to be done. I mean, I've got to get a glass. So in Hard Rock, I did say though, rather than the one of the massive glasses, can I have it in any glass that I want to have it in? And the woman was like, yeah, sure. So I said, could I have the pint glass? Because I don't have any of the pint glasses. So I got this Hard Rock Orlando pint glass. So that's a bit more reasonable to have in the cupboard. So and then I went to Bubba Gump Shrimp and I didn't intend to get a glass. But then we saw the glasses and they were so cool. Me and Luke just both said, oh, we've got to get one of those glasses. So this is the glass. This one's a bit bigger. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> it's like a jar with like a candelabra bottom, I mean, you can not, not get that. And it's got like the Bubba Gump, I don't know what it is, like, embossed, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like on the glass, it's not like printed on, it's like moulded. But yeah, so mum, you gotta deal with it. I thought, I just want to get stuff that I actually want. Like, I think, oh, I'm going to use that, I really, really want that. I don't want to get anything really gimmicky and stuff that's just chuck away, stuff that I'm not going to wear, I'm not going to use. I try to be a bit more disciplined with myself and spend my money on stuff that's actually worthwhile. Because like when I went to Florida last time, I went to this outlet place and they had, this was like five years ago, so, and they had DKMY jeans that were $11, so I bought five pairs because I was like, they're $11 and I've, I've worn them probably about once and then since then I've given away to charity, I've tried to chop them up into shorts and that didn't work. So I've decided I'm not going to waste my money. On that note, I did buy one one little gimmicky thing. I, just, I had to have it, it's a Disney phone. It's like, oh, I just love it. It was $30 so it works out about 20 quid. So oh, I just, I love it. I've wanted one of these for a while and I'm not going to carry it around the street with me. I'm not 
that loserish. I'm not gonna be like down the town like rah, hi. Rah, rah. I'm not gonna be like that. I want it for like at home when I'm on the phone to people because you just like I don't know if, if you don't know how to want to use these works. You just plug it into like the phone jack of your like normal iPhone, and then you just talk on it like this. And I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like holding this to my face. I don't, I don't know. I just don't really like it for long periods of time. So I don't know if I'm weird, but I just don't like it. So I saw this and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. And it's got little mini Mouse bow and mini Mouse ears. And there's like a little button to like answer the phone and like reject the call. And oh, I just love it. So that's that's the only gimmicky thing that I bought. So, but I'm, I'm pleased with my purchase. So everyone's a winner. I had to buy some ears. So when I went to Disneyland in 2010, they I don't know why, but they didn't have any of these plain ears. They only had like sequiny ones. And I was like, I don't want sequiny ones. So I got the ones with the sorcerer's hat. So this time I was like, I'm getting Minnie Mouse ears. I want them. The rest of the Disney stuff, I only bought three tops, which I think is quite restrained because I didn't, as I said, I didn't want to buy loads and loads of stuff that I'm not going to wear. So the first one I bought was this blue one. So it's like tie-dye blue, just a plain t-shirt and then it's got all this Disney World, like all the characters and the monorail and I just thought it was really nice, I like the tie-dye effect of it and I went to Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom was like my favourite park because it had all the animals and like the safari trucks and the rides, like the dinosaur ride was so good and like you walk around the animal treks like, and saw the tigers and this massive frog, it was like this big, it's like a dinner plate and then just all this amazing stuff so the, I decided I want to buy t-shirts from Animal Kingdom so first of all I picked up this one, so it's like blue on the top and then goes into green, so it's again like the tie-dye sort of effect but it's got really nice like picture on the front, I just really like the colour of it I saw this one and I just thought it was really funny so it's like tie-dye and then it says Dear, is that you? Just thought it was really funny, so. <laughs> Before I went, I said, I'm getting a minion top. Despicable Me is one of my favorite movies, and I was like, I'm getting a minion top when we go to Universal. And I did think I was gonna get one of those plain yellow ones with like the minion eyes and then mouth on it. But I've tried one on and I was just like, it's just a bit blah, not really much to it. And I'd seen this one and it was like $10 more expensive. And I was like, no, I don't wanna spend the extra $10. But then I tried it on and I was like, I just love it. So I'm just getting it. So I got this one. Assemble the minions! So I'm gonna have big time lols wearing this. Big fan of that, big fan. When we went to Planet Hollywood, we really, really liked it. It was at, it was at Downtown Disney. And it was, I think it was our last meal. Our last, it was our last proper meal on our last night. And we both really, really liked it. And they had a sign on the table or the menu or something saying, all t-shirts, buy one, get one 50% off. So we said, oh, we'll just buy two t-shirts together and like, split the cost. So we went to the shop and we, we both bought the same t-shirts that were gonna look cool in our matching t-shirts. So we just got this plain, Planet Hollywood, Orlando. And when I went to Hard Rock Venice in August, I really wanted this t-shirt and it was 30 euros or something similar to that and that's pretty much 30 quid so I was like nah I don't want to get it, it's 30 quid but then this one was 28 dollars well, probably about 30 with tax so it worked out about 20 quid so I was like I wanted that t-shirt so I'm gonna get it so it's this plain grey like the motley effect sort of grey if you get what I mean so it's just that Another amazing thing we did on the holiday was Discovery Cove, which is the swim with the dolphins thing. I've always wanted to do it. I used to be obsessed with dolphins when I was a kid. I, <laughs> I had a dolphin duvet cover. I had blue walls with dolphins stenciled onto them. I had blue curtains that my mum made and she stenciled dolphins onto them. I had like a dolphin cuddly toy. I had dolphin posters. I had dolphin towel. I sponsored a dolphin, I was just dolphin obsessed, I don't, I don't even know why, I don't know where it came from, so my mum like amazingly paid for me and Luke to do the swim with the dolphins and it was such a good day, you get like the whole day there and your food is included all day, your wetsuits are included, just 
and it's just such a good day. There's other things to do than swimming with the dolphins. There's like a snorkeling with the fish thing, and then there's like a lazy river, and there's some otters and marmosets, and then there's like sun lounges, and just it's just an incredible day. And if you've got the money to do it and you like dolphins, then I recommend that you do it. I wanted to get a souvenir sort of thing. I didn't want to get like a cuddly tour or anything, but I decided I wanted to get a t-shirt or or two. <laughs> so the first one I picked up was this vest one and it just says I slam swam with the dolphins Discovery Cove and it's like that what Topshop call like burnout or whatever material so I've got that one I thought that one was quite nice this one I think it's a men's I uh, just no yes I think it's men's yeah I think I think it's men's I'm not really sure just this vest Discovery Cove, Orlando, just plain grey vest. These are the t-shirts that I bought that weren't really related to anywhere that we went. They were just t-shirts that I saw at the mall, the outlet mall that I really liked. So the first one was from Zoomies. I don't know, how, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But um, it's this. I didn't buy it because it's Obey. I just like the t-shirt. So it's this Obey. What do you call it? Like, Is it like a baseball top? I don't know. The ones that have got like three quarter length sleeves and this shape. So those kind of tops <laughs> so I just got this and it just says obey all city and then I got it in a, a medium because it's really a bit baggier I got this one which is the same sort of style shape and it's like mint green and white and it's a young and reckless one yeah young and reckless so I thought this was quite nice I just thought it was a nice colour that was from Paxan yeah Paxan and then in Paxan they had a a deal that was like buy one get one half price so I got picked up that one and then I saw this and I really like this it's like a purple just loose vest and it's got this white like design on the front this one was from a shop called Curl by Sammy Duval at where is it? At downtown Disney and I was and it was eight ninety nine so it was quite cheap and it's large because it's the only size they had but I liked it because it's quite baggy and it just says stay weird at CityWalk Universal they've got an NBA restaurant and Luke wanted to go there because he loves the NBA and blah blah so uh, we, we were just browsing in the shop and I really liked this vest and Luke was like you can't get it, it's the wrong team because he supports the New York Knicks, that's who he supports um, and I was like but I just like the colour of it, it's not like I, know, I don't know anything about basketball I don't know anything about anything <laughs> American sports wise I don't know anything I just really like the colour of it so I got this Los Angeles Lakers vest and then the same Charlie and Charlie shop that I bought these bad boys they had some t-shirts in the sale and these were 9 99 each and I just thought they were really nice so it's got this one so it's got quite a scoopy neck and then it's sort of loose jersey-ish and then it's got burgundy lace and then stripes so it's burgundy I'd say it's burgundy and like an off-white so that's really nice and then I got the same but in black and white and that was the same price so I thought those were really nice just like simple tees at the same curl shop um, as the stay weird top I saw this and I thought it was really nice it's I can't really hold it up very easily because it doesn't it won't look brilliant because I can't hold it up properly but it's like this Sort of sleeves like this. It's like sheerish, and it's sort of like a. I don't know. I dis I'd describe it as like a kimono, and it's just this really nice red and green and black pattern with roses. Yeah, I just thought it was really nice. I love woolly hats. Like when winter comes around, I just love wearing woolly hats. It's brilliant if you've got dirty hair, you don't want to wash it. It's a bit gross, but true and I just love them and I go crazy and I just buy like just I go crazy and I just buy loads of hats every season and I actually did a blog post on it a couple of months ago about how much I love my hats and I saw this one and I I tried it on for a joke and then I put it on and Luke was like I actually quite like that so it's this young and reckless hat I'll put it on it's got a little bubble and I just thought it was really nice and other people might not think it suits me or they don't like it, but I just thought it was really nice. And I liked it. So I bet that has messed up my hair. No. 
I'm alright. My hair is okay. When I went to Universal, obviously, or Islands of Adventure, obviously the big draw that I wanted to go to was Harry Potter's Wizarding World, whatever it's called. When I went to the studio tour in or near Watford a couple of weeks ago, um, I've said, oh, I won't buy any souvenirs here because they'll probably be cheaper in America. Well, that wasn't true. They've just bumped up all the prices so they match the English prices. So I said, I want to get a souvenir from Harry Potter because I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. And I said, oh, but I don't want to get anything gimmicky. But I wanted to get something nice, so I splurged a bit. It's not that much of a splurge, but it was $60. So it works out about £40, but I just loved it. I saw it in the shop and I just picked it up on the off chance and then... I just I fell in love with it and I just thought it'd be really nice to have like in the winter and it's just lovely so I'll get up to show it this throw with the Harry Potter crest the Hogwarts crest on it so it's just really really nice and it's massive I thought it'd be all snuggly for the winter and it's like really lovely high quality woven all the tassels on the edge it's just Mm, it's just so nice. And then the final thing and the most expensive thing is this. It's a handbag. Which is this basic like black bag. Little handles. It's got the little I don't know if you can see that. It's got the little Kate Spade thing on the front. And they had it in red as well and I was tempted by the red but then I thought no, black will go with more, I'll get more use out of it. So inside it's got like a little zip pocket there and then it's got two little pockets there for your phone and whatever. And I thought the inside was really nice, a little pastely, well it's actually not pastely, the bright coloured stripes, I thought that was really nice. On the top it's got these sort of like zip things on the side. So there are another extra pocket, so if there's anything you want to keep separate, you can keep it in there to like protect it from the rest of your bag. And I've checked and my iPad fits in there, so that'd be quite good. So yeah, I just thought it was a really, really nice bag. And it worked out at about, probably works out about 75, 80 pounds, so it's quite a lot of money. Well, not that much money, it's not as like a massive designer bag, but it was quite a lot of money to spend on holiday on one thing. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it, and I really, I really like it. I'm done. That is the end of my very long, very expensive haul. So I don't advise that people go to Florida and spend that much money. I just did because I planned for the whole year, right, I'm going to Florida, I'm going to buy things because last time I went to Florida I knew that I bought quite a lot of things. So I planned for this. I didn't just go out and think, oh my god, I'm getting everything. I did plan that I wanted to get things and I did go shopping with the intent to buy if I like things. Obviously not just that I want to buy that because I've got money on me. It's such a good holiday. A nice, nice end to the summer, I'd say, because I'd consider September still part of the summer. Um, yeah, so a nice end to the summer. While I was there, I filmed like five hours of footage, so I think I'm going to make some vlogs of our time in Florida. So if you'd be interested in that, then those should be going up soon-ish. Sometime soon-ish, yeah. So if you'd be interested in that, then those will be up. Other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you soon, hopefully, if you decide to watch again. <laughs> if not, then have a nice life.